this is just going to be another tarot blog vlog for me if you want to book a personal reading all of that information is as always in the description below check me out today coming to y'all bare face mostly because i'm extremely tired this morning and i just don't feel like doing my makeup plus i'm on a current fast of not smoking so i'm like i'm not irritated but i'm upset i'm really upset and i feel like this reading is going to help me with that today or something i don't fucking know but um my gift isn't working correctly and i know that i needed to do this so i'm gonna just go ahead and do this to wake myself up it's currently 7 25 in the morning usually i'm up and ready to go page of swords in the reverse this is reflecting upon today not the past this is emotionally reflecting upon today. I haven't even said my prayer. This is emotionally reflecting back upon today and being upset and angry. Nine of Swords in the reverse. This is being bothered with anger for what it is that you have to do. This is not having the right attitude towards what it is that you have to do. This is the Nine of Swords. Yeah, the, it's, it's the way that I'm thinking. If I focus on the positive like I'm feeling led to do, don't worry about it. Because I do say like daily prayers that bless and protect me. So that's uh, what's active here. But if I focus on the positive and keep my eye on the goal, I shall make it today. I shall definitely make it. But there's one thing that I'm missing too. It's a rebirth. And the Ten of Cups in the reverse with the Ace of Cups behind it and the Moon card. That's a wonderful spread. And then you got Justice backing this. Sorry, let me do that. Justice backing it. In the Knight of Pentacles. This death in the reverse. This is coming in to completely end something. This is if I reveal some of the hidden things about myself, it'll make me happy. This is if I do a reading on why I smoke, it'll make me happy. Because I know it's a coping mechanism right now currently for my PTSD and the bit of uh, emotional upsetness that I have. Because I wouldn't really call it depression because I'm moving through it. I would call it me just being sad, but it's at the level of depression. It's like deep, like depression. But I'm not letting it depress me. Like, I'm not stopping my life and secluding myself. I'm still being out there. I'm still interacting with others. I'm still wanting a job. And it's about the stuff that I pause and don't do because of yeah especially with this justice card here because of what i need to ensure with inside of myself with my ptsd and my uh shaman's journeys and psychosis experiences and stuff with that 
or rather I would say my spiritual attacks. With my spiritual attacks, I have to postpone and wait on a bunch of things to happen for me to make some things happen. I have to postpone the things that I want to happen in my life and wait for them to happen. But it's really just, and that's me not looking at the bright side. Now that I'm looking at the bright side, I forgot it was just a prayer that I had. And I'm not waiting on things to happen for me. It's just, I'm waiting on this blessing to come through in the way that Yahweh told me it will. So I'm being patient. And it's about how long can my faith endure and right now I'm experiencing, this must be another spiritual attack. Yeah, yeah. So, right now, I'm experiencing another spiritual attack upon my emotions to kind of knock me off course and knock me off right and put me into sadness. But it's through God gifting me something. Through God gifting me Christ, through God gifting me Yahshua, through God gifting me a church. It's like a um, place to go where I can refresh and restore myself and connect with God. I feel like this is, yeah, this, okay, never mind, because he's holding my tongue. I didn't even say my prayer, but that's the God got you stuff. And I've been relying on that a lot. It's only seven minutes in, too. I've been heavily relying on the fact that God got me. When I say I've been relying upon that to the point where it's like, I know that every thing that I want to do is able to be done through him. I rely on him and his support. I rely on the stuff like if I don't have time to do something then I know God is taking care of it for me and God's going to do it for me that's what I've been relying upon him for if I don't have the strength to continue I know that I can lean on God for support to get me through the seven of swords man is running from this death but this death is a rebirth of something. This No, it's a passing of something that creates a final ending, but it's unknown. I feel like that's talking about me today with my smoking, where if I pass it, it'll create this final ending inside of myself to where... I'll be able to not be controlled by smoking anymore. It like the urges that I have will not move me into actually doing it. And I'll do it more of a leisure activity of when I want to versus me feeling like I need to. Yeah, that's the Ace of Pentacles here. That's the, the Ace of Cups as well with the Ten of Cups. And the hidden emotion here is that I do it when I want to, not when I feel that I need to. That's the justice here that um, I feel with weed. Because I was, I mean, not weed, <laughs> with smoking. Because I knew that I wasn't addicted to it. Because I never feel the urge to do it bad or do it how I want to do it. Unless... There is a, um, unless I say that I'm about to quit. So that's how I know that it's demonic attacks upon me. Because unless I plan and prepare for my quitting and be like, okay, tomorrow I'm not going to smoke. 
um, this is my last one, I'm done smoking, that's when I feel those urges of no, I'm not, you know, keep going, you still need it, it's very beneficial, work with it, work with it, work with it. That's when I feel those urges like I'm feeling right now, like, um, like something is telling me internally that it's going to help the experience, so I need to work with it and I need to smoke. That's the urges that I be feeling. And then... Um, when I'm not saying and planning and preparing to stop smoking, that's when I feel that I can quit at any time. I can stop at any time. I can not remove it from my life, but put it down and go do something else. So I think it's the actual removal from the life that has them attacking me, the demons. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Cups in the Reverse. This is all single people, but they're all coming together, confirmed by this Knight of Cards. This is God got me so I can be okay. That's not God got me, got me so I am okay. God got me so I can be okay. Through his strength and through him, I can make it through today. I see why he wanted me to do this reading first. I see exactly why he wanted me to do this reading first. The world card, we're finished with it. Nine of Pentacles, I'm going to be okay because God got me so I can do so. Six of Swords, moving on. It's 11.44. Um, I was going to do this to wake myself up more. So, I'm going to finish this out with something else. But God got me so I can be okay. That's probably what I'm about to name this. God got me so I can be okay. All right, let me pray and then get into whatever messages are coming in for me because it's pressing very heavy upon me. Like, hello, we got something to tell you. So let me go ahead. Dear the Divine God, our Holy Father, Yahweh, and our angels, thank you for being the highest form of good in our lives, for keeping our heads on straight and straying us away from negativity as best as possible. Right now, I'm asking that you bless and protect this space as well as the viewers. Ground us in our energy so that way we know what messages to receive and gift us a keen discernment to know what to do with the knowledge received as well. Please grant us the ability to keep our personal opinion and bias to the side, if you so choose, the strength to continue on, and the clarity needed to focus. And anything else that you deem worthy with this reading, please allow us to be the vessels to receive and deliver. Amen. Ashe. All right. Um... I was channeling before that there goes the world card again. I was channeling before while I was doing this reading that um it was not you have all that you need and it wasn't what I was speaking of before but it was it was semi important. It went away from me. God if it's important, bring it back to me. Thank you. But it went along with this reading. The Hierophant in the Reverse. This is governing. And then there goes the Tower in the Reverse. So this is Ascension. This is governing back by Ascension. Your behavior today is going to bring about ascension as long as you dictate how you behave as long as you become an active one that is the order of the law then you will ascend today
This is the Seven of Cups in the Reverse. This is not wanting anything at all, especially confirmed by this Hangman card here. You got the Hangman, the Hierophant, and the High Priestess, but the Hierophant is in the Reverse. This Hangman was confirming that this isn't wanting anything at all. This isn't needing anything at all. But this is saying that I can take something. And that's what's going on with me smoking is that I can do it. It's an option that I can partake in if I want to. This is me controlling my wants that needs to happen. I need self-control in this. And this um, stopping smoking and fasting from smoking today is enabling my will to have self-control. That's what's bringing it in is for me to be able to control myself and not listen to this inside of me that tells me uh, I, I can I prefer to do that and it's not really a preference it's more so like uh, I'm not doing anything or you know I'm free right now so I can participate in it it's just an option it's just a small option it's an option that I have no governing order over And then we have this, the priestess. He keeps saying, so the secret of it lies with me. But what is the secret of it? What is the secret of it? You got behind it the page... I mean, the Three of Wands in the reverse, the Page of Cups in the reverse, and the Eight of Swords in the reverse. I'm free, but I'm still blinded. This Page of Cups is... me rejecting the offer that I'm giving myself, which is the option to take it. The preference to take it, the smoking, and me not moving from the offer to reject myself. I'm free from this, but I'm still blinded. I still can't see that I can stand on business and stand inside of rejecting my own offers. That's the secret of it, is that I can reject my own offers. Let's see. Yeah, nine of pentacles in the reverse. I don't have to take it because I have everything that I need. I have everything that I want. God got me so I can be okay. And it's funny that I say that with the strength card and then the will of fortune comes out with it. Saying I'm strong enough to take this chance of not interacting in this behavior with this Knight of Pentacles card here. Not interacting in my own behavior and the behavior that I want to interact in. Not fulfilling myself and going about choosing the options that I can partake in if I want to. This is just the option that I prefer to do. And it has to do with me cutting back on my self-care that is the war and the problem and the issue right now. The big part for when I was naming reasons as to why there goes the tower again. So I feel that I will be successful today. But it's up to me to unite with the right energy. In order to bring it about. These cards are changing because of how I'm feeling right now. But um, when I was speaking in uh, to God, I was telling him all reasons of self-care are the, the reason why I don't want to not smoke today. 
the reasons why I do want to smoke today were for reasons of self-care. Like I didn't want to be trying to rush through my reading and because I'm irritated or upset or angered or I'm just not feeling it. I want to still be headstrong and still be determined to actually get through my energy. Fasting is very hard because it requires a lot of the spirit and a lot of the soul to actually move the self and the body into doing something that they said they were not going to do to refrain and be kept from something that is why fasting is one of the best ways for you to no longer i'm ignored for you to no longer enact or be led by temptation for you to no longer lead into temptation for you to no longer be tempted by anyone fasting is one of the quickest routes and the best routes for that to happen and occur, it's like as if you're cleansing yourself by fire. I feel that God wants me to do this, but he's quite unsure of if I should because of the negative effects that it could bring me. I'm the one recommending I should do this for myself. But it's bringing so much negativity and causing so much trauma. And I don't know what I'm doing. Because there's one thing about this is that I don't feel this. Because the Hierophant's in the reverse and then the Tower's in the upright though. I mean in the reverse and then the Page of Pentacles. The temperance, strength, chariot. Temperance in the reverse, strength in the reverse, chariot. I move into it being easier to tame myself and easier for me to neutralize myself to bring myself back to a normal state and then i move forward on my path right into the high priestess of being able to tell myself no so it's very beneficial for me to do so which is why god wants me to thank you but I feel that it's going to mess up his path because I'm not feeling this grounded sense of like, this is for sure something that I should do and should partake in. I'm feeling that it's up in the air and I'm also feeling that I'm in the way of what it is that he's doing by me partaking in this fast today. Like I'm not strong enough for it today. And the only reason why, and, and one thing that I did want to do when I woke up this morning was do it on my own. That is one thing for sure is that I wanted to do it on my own. I didn't want to do it leaning on God. I don't like to do things in its and bits and increments that take a long time in order to get to a point. I feel like I'm not strong enough for it yet. Even though anything is possible and with God, I can be okay. But fasting is something you need to do for yourself. I mean, with yourself. God is saying, even though it's beneficial, will it actually work? Will it actually be a method of behavior that I continue on with? And he's allowing me to see that it's not. It's just an accomplishment under my belt in the the meaning the definition the reason for fasting is not even there it's income like it's no point in me doing so because the reason why people fast doesn't even stick to me it just becomes an accomplishment under my belt which enables me to actually um partake in my will to say no better but it doesn't truly help me. So right now I ask that God, your let your will be done 
as it pertains to me smoking. Amen. This is the tower that keeps popping out. The king of swords and then the two of pentacles here. Then you got the king of cups in the middle. That moon card just wanted to pop out and say, hey. You got the devil, the king of cups, and the chariot with the king of swords and the two of pentacles in the reverse. This is making a firm, sounded decision. To go with the other option. To go with the no option. You got the devil, the king of cups, and the chariot. This is staying in what you are restricted to because it's easier for you. You got the king of cups here. This is being upset about where someone or something is going. I feel like God is going to make me upset with smoking in order to bring about something. Because right now, I don't have an option in me that says I can't smoke right now. And then we got the Queen of Swords popping out. So this is a union energy. You got the Six of Wands, the Chariot, and the Six of Swords in the reverse. My hair is so soft today. I like combed it and brushed it before I put it up and went to bed. And I just woke up and it's just like baby soft. Like It's like a nice fresh baby blanket that's made of the softest material ever. It's like silk. It is. But it's hot so it's sweating out and becoming dry so it's like ugh. but we got the king of swords and the queen of swords in this union this queen of swords is saying why not and then it's something important about the way that it flew out This union is at odds with each other, but they're in union about what it is to do. So this is telling me that God is saying that I am not strong enough for it because the purpose of fasting will not be met. And it's just not time. It's just not time yet. So move forward today. Know that you are successful. Move forward today without your strength and into your selfishness. And come back to come back to what? And he's holding my head at fasting. I feel like because I just had this idea of like I feel like I can fast in another area, but not this. Not in the area that I may possibly have an addiction in. Not in the area that I, I have an addiction in. Yeah, confirmed by the full card here with the new tower moment that kind of popped out. Knight of Pentacles at the top of the deck didn't want to come out. It's in the reverse. Because uh, I'm reading my current energy right now. So as my thoughts change, the cards change. As my emotions change, the cards change. And that's what happens when you're reading current energy. Where I totally feel yes and I totally feel no. Which is the reason why I'm not strong enough for the fasting of the my addiction. 
because my will to say yes is way stronger than my will to say no. And I know that through fasting, I can strengthen that will with Yahweh, but that's not the way that he wants me to go. And I'm still asking him to curate my life and not me create it for myself. I feel like this may have been a plan from Satan, especially with that Emperor card coming out. I feel like this may have been a plan from Satan. Because you got the Judgment, the Chariot, and the Queen of Cups. I'm just loving all of this energy right now that I'm acting inside of my prime self. Like, literally, I get all of these court cards and major arcana. So this is me having a communicative relationship with God, our Holy Father Yahweh, and his angels. You got the emperor that came out with judgment in the chariot. I feel like with this one, for some reason, God is speaking. Yeah, it was most definitely a trick from Satan for me to make the wrong decision. And move forward into being uh, upset with myself in a major way. He was trying to pull me into depression and anger and upsetness and instillment. Trying to instill me with methods of... Um, trying to instill me with this method of me not making the fast. Not making it too fast. And then feeling down on myself, depressed about myself, fucked up about myself, just victimizing myself and criticizing myself all the way to the point where I am sad enough to not do nothing and not participate with anything anymore. They're really, really, really trying to remove me from what God has established for me to do. And honey, it's just not working. God showed me the other day, not only am I going to be fighting people in the flesh, like certain witches or warlocks that'll come to my page, see that I do tarot with God, grow angry and try to attack me somehow. I'm also going to be fighting in, with spirits as well that will be attacking me because I'm not going down the path and I'm using what they have proclaimed as their tool to communicate with God and do God's work. This is really stepping on the devil's head. <laughs> Anything else? Watch this be the tower. I saw it already. That's why. <laughs> you got the ace of pentacles. They were saying, yes, it is something else, which is this tower moment. This tower moment. You got the hangman in the reverse, the four of swords, and then the judgment card in the reverse with this tower. They want to talk about me still feeling like this is the bad decision to make. Which leads me into them wanting to talk about the image that I feel with God. And I feel like I have this image with God where it's like his people are supposed to be always fighting on his side, making him win the victory. It's like this childlike cartoon image that I have of like if Spider-Man was like one of your favorite superheroes and he was around you like you were one of his like cool people or something how you feel that you should be with spider-man that you should be his sidekick and that's 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 this energy that i feel is that i should be god's sidekick and i should be fighting with him and i should be helping myself and strengthening him and taking care of myself in the best way possible in the god way possible and doing things that he is doing with me as well you got the seven of No, I had this card. And then they just played this song for me, uh, Stand Up, which uh, they were saying, God says, I go to prepare a place for you. 
this is a major 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 challenge with me because they're making me bring out a spread here the seven of pentacles is what fell out in the reverse This I go to prepare a place for you. I go to prepare a place for you. It's God preparing the place. It's God doing the work. And this is very important because today with me not smoking, I don't have the location needed for me to interact with the fast from what it is I am addicted in. I don't have a location needed. I mean, I don't have a location and the location is the entire in, internal environment that would bring about the purpose of the fast and being enacted in the way that it's supposed to for me. So I have to allow God to prepare this location and it's going to come through my course on self-control that I'm taking in Heaven's Garden University. On um, You can join it too as well. The link's in the description below for my other YouTube page where I um, do uh, personal, I like personal readings and collective readings. You got the King of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. This is someone who's unmoving in them handling things. And this is God trying to say, I got it. And I need to surrender to this because we have the Queen of Wands out as well. So there is some union energy. And this Queen of Wands is someone who is open to allowing other duties and dictations to be done by other people. This is someone who is able to govern her kingdom by spreading down responsibilities to other people. God is pretty much saying that I'm so much of trying to be the sidekick that I'm becoming the superhero, which is not my job. I'm not to be the sidekick nor the superhero. Yeah especially confirmed by the judgment card here. I'm not to be the sidekick nor the superhero. And God is saying that I do so much that he has to ask me for a little bit of responsibility in order for him to do something for me. So God, I ask that your will be done through you enlightening me upon how I can be in the best way for your will to be done. <laughs> what I say about the tower. What I say about the fucking tower. Calling this shit. I know my cards. I know my energy, rather. I know myself. So what is... 38 minutes that wasn't that bad what is it that i need to do in order to be in the best way for your will to be done what is it that i need to do to be in the best way for your will to be done the king of cups with the Four of Cups. Do what I feel from the angels. From what the angels give me to feel. King of Cups. I just keep seeing him as upset.
And then I see his eyes as snaky. This is not feeling like managing my emotions. We got the Eight of Pentacles here, which is determined work. The Queen of Pentacles, knowing how to take care of the physical. And then the Three of Pentacles, building the physical. I think that God is telling me to literally just take care of my physical life. And not my spiritual life or my soul life. To just take care of my physical life. To do what I need to do physically and not operate spiritually. So no fasts, no things of that nature coming in. Just being in my physical. Yeah, that's what he said. And it's so funny. I went into a little spiritual attack, shaman's journey, shit show, or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know what the fuck happens to me, but it's a mix between a shaman's journey and a spiritual attack at the same time. So I went into one of those episodes last night and I mean, not last night, yesterday. And I got, don't do anything without God telling you to as information. And then it comes out today in the cards. So I'm very confirmed that it is a shaman's journey that I just get spiritually attacked in. So it's that information there. I forgot which ones I did, but this is what's supposed to be. This is beginning to be open to let go of working on myself. God is going to bring me the revelations and insights that I need for my physical self, for my self and my entire self through me doing tarot and taking care of my job and my business and, and things of that nature. So I need not seek it myself. <laughs> I need not seek it myself. Page of fucking swords. In the reverse. I need not seek it my fucking self. Yeah, I've been having worry about working on that. But the hidden emotion is exactly what I feel. God got me so I can be okay. So I need not worry about trying to be the perfect sidekick or the perfect fucking a superhero next to him or I need not worry about working inside of that Christian image and I feel like that's what the devil is trying to use upon me to deter what it is that I'm doing with God their attacks are getting weaker and weaker and weaker and I see this because they're using good things that are bad or bad things that are good and in moments they're trying to put me in like they're using things that's like right move wrong moment right moment wrong move in order to try to deter me off my path there's nothing else evil that they can fucking use and they have to use good to try to deter me off my path but guess what <laughs> through our holy father yahweh it's still not working so that's all I have for me today. If it resonates, then it, uh, take it however it resonates. If you want to book a personal reading with me, all of that information is in the description below. Peace, love, and light, and as always, be great.